guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that is a long time coming because I'm finally gonna share with you guys a room in my home. Now, because I do a lot of minimalist content, I get a ton of requests to see different areas of my home. I don't really know exactly why I haven't shown you guys. I mean, you've seen my house in all different video clips and whatnot. Um, but I think just because I am not somebody that is really talented in interior design, I will never be the person that's like, yeah, I have an eye for these things. So I think it's kind of, like, I want to say it's a little bit embarrassing to bring people into my home because it's not something that I feel super proud of. It's also something that I feel is never finished. Like even today, I'm going to show you my bedroom, but there are things about it that are definitely not finished or things that just aren't the right fit. But I kind of figured, I keep telling you guys I'm gonna show you these things and then I keep putting it off for different reasons. So today is the day. So the first thing we should probably discuss is what was my mentality, my mindset going into decorating this room. For my bedroom, I wanted it to be very kind of masculine, bachelor pad-esque, minimal. I wanted it to be dark, cozy, somewhere that my husband, it fit like his kind of like theme and something that he feels good in because I feel like a lot of women get into interior design or interior decorating, sorry, I know those are two different things, and they kind of like create the room to be something that's their haven. So typically on like YouTube, for example, you see a lot of white, a lot of bright, and that just wasn't realistic for us. However, you will see that eventually when I show you the bathroom, there is a big contrast between the room and the bedroom, and you guys know I love contrast. So whenever I went into thinking about ideas, I would go on Pinterest and I would search in bachelor pad, bachelor pad bedrooms. I didn't want anything that's matchy-matchy. I'm not into the matchy-matchy look. I'm not into like, you know, two um, table stands on both sides of the bed. I don't want things to look like we try too hard. I want it to look like it was kind of effortlessly thrown together and it fits our actual lifestyle needs. In the past, when I have shared pictures of my bedroom, I've gotten a lot of questions about the paint on the wall, so I wanted to be sure to answer those questions. The dark color that you see, that is called Sled. It is a color by Bear. In this room, it looks black, but it's actually a really, really dark blue. The lighter shade is called Anonymous, and that is also a color by Bear. Now, when you look straight into the room, the first thing that you are gonna see on the left-hand side of the bed, that is my husband's side, and that is his shelf. Again, I talk about kind of wanting contrast, not wanting things matchy-matchy. So on my side, you have kind of like a little stand, which I will get to, but on his side, we decided to do a floating shelf. I figured this would be most convenient for him, and it would also be a cool design element. But it's nice because on this, we put candles, just in case we want to like set a mood. Um, and then I also bought him one year for Christmas, this little wooden plaque thing, I guess you would call it. And that is for him to come home and keep all of his items right there beside him. It's a way for me to be happy because he's not leaving his important things all over the house. And it's a way for him to be happy because he knows where to get his stuff every single morning as he's walking out the door for work. So typically he will put like an iPad or a phone there, his keys and his wallet. The centerpiece of the room is obviously the bed. So the bed is where I spent probably the most time and definitely the most focus and certainly the most amount of money because I wanted it to be our haven. I wanted it to feel like a cloud. So the mattress, we definitely invested a good amount of money in the mattress, which is important for us because because I have a neck injury, my husband has a back injury, so that was like the key component of the bed. We did not put a headboard, we've had headboards in the past, and we're just not a big fan. I mean, there are ways I feel like we could have incorporated a head, a head board, did I say headband? A headboard into our room and it would have looked great, but for us, it's just more convenient not to have the headboard. The duvet is a duvet from Bed Bath & Beyond, and it is a Ralph Lauren duvet. It was not cheap, but it was very important. This is probably my favorite piece of the room because when I went into the whole bachelor-esque feel, I wanted to feel like, again, nothing was too clean, nothing was too try hard. I didn't want it to look like a hotel. I kind of wanted it to look inviting, like we never kind of got out of the bed. 
So I do make the bed, but the duvet, it has a lived-in feel, so it looks very relaxed, just like the rest of the room. The sheets are 100% modal. I think that's how you pronounce it. The reason I purchased these sheets is because one day I slid into my sister-in-law's bed, and her bed was so comfortable, and I asked her, like, how did she make her bed feel like that, and she actually had those sheets. So... Those sheets, it's just a matter of being comfortable. It's really great because it kind of adjusts. So if you're hot, it cools you down. If you're cold, it warms you up. They're really light and they feel really soft on the skin. The pillows and pillowcases are from all different places. So some of them are from Bed Bath & Beyond that came with the sheet set. Some of them are from Ross. The pillows themselves, a lot of them are from Marshalls. I got the furry, the faux fur um, pillow and the two gray ones. Actually, the two gray ones are from Walmart. The faux fur is from Marshalls and those are just, like I said, solely for adding texture because when you have a dark, minimal, kind of like monotone room, you have to add a lot of texture so that it doesn't look flat. Moving on to the right side, I do not need a nightstand because I don't tend to keep a lot of stuff, period, but I also don't want a lot of stuff distracting me in my bedroom. So all I have is a stool that I actually painted myself. I painted the top white and the legs gray. And on top of that, there is a plant, a snake plant in a pot. Now the thing that I don't like about that, I was actually looking for a specific plant stand and a specific um, plant pot, but I could not find one that I liked, one that fit into the room, and I bought multiples. So right now I am just sticking to this, you know, big clay white pot on the stand, but I think it gives it an interesting look. Above the bed, I will get into this in a different video, but one of the only things that we really collect are books. So I added books up top just to kind of give it, again, more texture and interesting look but also because we read all those books so sometimes I lay in bed and read and it blocks out the light up top and then on the ends of them kind of like book holders I have two French Bulldogs that I actually purchased from Walmart those are just a cute addition it's a different kind of material it has the shiny thing so again I know I'm gonna beat a dead horse but texture 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 is important in a space like this and I also just love dogs so every time I look at them it makes me happy and then lastly, as you can see on that wall, there are three photos of my husband and I, two large ones on the side and a small one up top. And those pictures are just kind of a representation of our relationship. They are a true representation of our relationship. I've been with my husband for almost 12 years now and I still am just as in love with him as ever. We have a very intimate relationship. We're very passionate. And those pictures kind of show like our playful side while also showing the passion and it's safe for our kids' eyes. So we don't have to worry about our kids walking in and seeing things that they shouldn't. The curtains are another favorite aspect of my room, which I know I'm saying that a lot, but these curtains were a big deal, guys. It may look like just a set of curtains, but they are actually velvet. They are super thick and they have a lot of texture. Again, there's the texture word. But I was constantly trying to find ways to add different textures to the room to make it feel more cozy. And then if you're looking in front of the bed, you come to one corner of the room and you see my makeup vanity. Ideally, I would not have this in my room just because I'm not a fan of having so much stuff in the room. I'd rather it just be the bed and that kind of thing. I would prefer just to have one place to keep all of those things out of my bathroom. And also, it's just more comfortable having a place to sit and do that. Unfortunately, it is dark in the room, so I do have a, a mirror that has lights all around the edges. And I also have another mirror just for like daylight if I want to get clothes, pluck my eyebrows, that kind of thing. And then I add a faux fur rug on the bench to add some texture and some lightness to the room and also just to kind of add some interest to that space because it really doesn't have a lot going on. Then there is my least favorite part of the room and I'm not going to complain about it, but this desk area is my husband's space 100% completely. I have mentioned in past videos that while I am a minimalist, my husband isn't necessarily one himself. Yes, he tries to keep as little stuff as possible and he likes to live more intentionally, but he does collect a little more than I do. And when I say collect, like he doesn't have collector's items, but you know, he has a lot of like money that he keeps that he likes to store, money from different countries, a lot of paperwork for work, his desk or his um, computers, that type of thing. And I kind of made a deal with him, look, if you have this desk space to yourself where you can put whatever you want, 
could you please keep from putting things all over the house? Basically, that's essentially what it was. For the most part, I don't touch the desk. I told him, I don't care if you make a huge mess, if you pile things on top of it, that's your space and I'm gonna give you that and not ever nag you about it. But every once in a while, if it gets a little out of hand, I will clean it up and do what I have to do. But it's definitely the sore spot in the room, but marriage is about compromise. And I created that space for him so he could feel like he can do whatever he wants without me getting on to him about it. And that is our minimalist bedroom. Eventually I will be doing a quick tour of the bathroom, although there's not really a whole lot to show. But just to show you the contrast between the dark room to the bright bathroom, I figured that would be interesting for you guys. If you do want to see that, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know if you would. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, leave comments, subscribe, stay with us, and look forward to the next video. I will see you guys later. Bye.